Hey guys, Basil and Wolf from Grayson Hobby, and believe it or not, we have a new product. Spectrum again? It is an airplane product. Holy cow, what are airplanes? Yeah. The wings? Yeah, they like... Anyways, this is a new little budget receiver from KS Servo, right? Yep, KS Servo. This is the RS610. It's a seven channel DSM-X receiver. And we're gonna show you how to bind it. It's pretty easy, but just the manual doesn't really make sense for some, so here's a little- DSM2, DSM-X, and it also has a USB port for simulators. Yes, so it has all, everything. Before we begin the binding, I just wanna show you how clear everything is labeled. So starting at the bottom, we have channel one is the throttle, channel two is the ailerons, channel three is the elevator, channel four is rudder, channel five is gear, Channel 6 is auxiliary 1, and the S-Bus PBM, if you're flying airplanes on Spectrum, don't worry about that one. So, so anything we sell, Tower Pro, Dynam, anything will fit in there, it's a universal. So length, we didn't talk about the length right here, it looks like it's about 45 centimeters long. Not too bad, and the width looks like we're right around 20 centimeters wide. The thickness is right around 6 or 7 centimeter. One last thing, the polarity is very clear. You have the S, which is the signal. Negative is the brown or black or any of the darker colors. All right, sometimes the manuals don't really say what they mean. So what do they actually mean? How do you bind this? So thing? guys, we got this little receiver here, the RS610. Uh, this is from KS Servo. Um, they've been around a little while and I know they've made other brands of receivers. So now they're re released this um, RS610 for the Spectrum slash Walkera. So mainly we're going to talk about Spectrum. And it also works with a simulator, but I haven't try tried yeah. it yet. This is just how to bind. This is what we got here. And it kind of kind of explains it, but it kind of confuses people too. So we're going to go over that. Um, in order to bind this thing, I'm going to use a simple system here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and plug in just a servo just so I can confirm later. And that's a Tau Pro MG90S. And I'm going to plug my throttle in. That's just a 25 amp ESC. Uh, yeah, 18. 18 amp. Battery source, receiver there, yeah. radio here. I'm going to go ahead and get my radio in to binding. Not actually start the bind, but get it ready. So now I got my radio ready to bind here. I'm going to plug in the battery while holding the bind button. Right. So in order to bind this, get the push and hold the button. Push and hold and add power. And plug in the battery, which I just released the button while I did that. So push and hold the button. Plug it in. Let go of the button while it's fast flashing. Then I'm going to do your standard spectrum, three foot distance. Binding. So this is actually bound in DSMX mode, which is interesting. Wow, that's pretty cool. Um, after the bind is done, you do want to power cycle, just to verify. Let's see. Actually, it did not require power cycle, but Maybe I like to power, power cycle, cycle anyway, after the bind. And... And that's it. There you go. And that's all there is to it. So this is going to bind in similar fashion to the new AR series receivers, like the AR410 and the AR620. So this is similar bind uh, sequence with the button. So if you're looking for a budget uh, receiver, there you go.